Well, hello, and good day to you. Um, oops, well, I should be walking my scooter with the kickstand on. We're just at Coxville, just around the corner from Coxville Station. It is Easter Sunday, March 31st. March does have 31 days, right? So we are gonna take a little scooter ride. I'm just gonna pop you here. Let's see if I got you on, right? There, I think you're nice and snug. So, let me put my glove on. See, I actually brought gloves today. It's very convenient for once, so I can't complain about having cold hands. So, the purpose, I'm just gonna make sure that this is definitely screwed in tight. Don't worry about the camera go flying. So the purpose of, oops, so apparently this is not tight. And there's an animal next to me, I just heard it going. That's brilliant, we're off to a great start tonight. Okay, all right. So the purpose of this is just to check and make sure that I can do a proper scooter video. It's going to adjust you a bit more. I really don't know what animal that was back there. Most likely it was a skunk at Center U. So I got to be a little bit careful about going down Coxwell on my scooter because, hello helicopter, because I don't want to run into any people or animals, so I'm going to go a bit slow. But I don't want to go on the road, because cars are very nasty in Toronto. They're not great. Their drivers are vastly unaware, and of course it sounds awful that I'm... Actually, I'll go on the road for a little bit. I'll be a hypocrite. It's actually pretty dead going southbound on Coxwell right now. So yeah, I just wanted to see if my voice can actually be heard while I'm riding my scooter. Just looking behind me to see if there's any cars before I go past this guy. I just don't normally do this because I get frightened to death, like right now. Well, there's cars, so I'm definitely gonna go on the sidewalk now because there's a bus coming. Ah, okay, so what I figure we'll do is we'll go eastbound for a bit before I make my way back home heading west. So that requires us to cross the road here. So I'm gonna be a good boy and hop off my scooter since there's people around here. So this is Coxwell and Danforth that we're at. We're gonna cross to the bike lane. So there's a lot of shuttle buses actually tonight along Bloor because I'm gonna show you in a second. So there's two there. And then there's a bunch here. So the subway is actually shut down for the weekend. And it's kind of bizarre that they do that on a long weekend. And now I'm gonna go back into the bike lane. I'm gonna let the bus pass first. Okay. So yeah, the buses, the, the subway's been closed all weekend from, I believe, St. George to Woodbine for track maintenance. And I just find it kind of odd. I don't know who makes these decisions. 
because why of all weekends do you pick the busiest weekend in the spring? They could have done it last weekend, or they could have done it the following weekend. Oh my god, these roads are awful. But no, they pick the busy Easter weekend with all the tourists and people trying to go to the Easter parade. Actually, for all I know, they could be doing it like multiple weekends. I feel a little bit tricked sometimes because a couple weeks ago I took the subway and then the shuttle buses started and it said they were doing it for only four nights. Nope, it turns out they're doing it for a whole month. Even though the sign then said four nights, so like they did it for four nights and then they didn't do it for the weekend. And then they put up new signs on Monday saying, ha, we're doing it again for another four to five nights. So, ha ha. It just sucks because, you know, I took the shuttle bus, there was a snowstorm that day and I was on it and it stopped at Bay and Bloor to let people on and people were not making room. Everyone was trying to jam onto the bus and nobody could get on the bus. Yeah, there's our spot. This uh, brunch place I just passed. Uh, Cipriano's sister owns it. I think you've probably heard me mention his name a couple of times in other videos, so he'll eventually do a walk with me. But his sister owns that place. We went there for brunch. It's really cute, really great, really busy. It's busy because the food is cheap and good. Oh, Jesus. All right, let's... Go into the bike lane. It's like the loudest car too. It's just so noisy and squeaky. This will actually be nice to do when the weather's warmer and do like a late night ride. But anyways, yeah, TDC, buses, boo. We're coming up to Woodbine. Of course, the Uber delivery cyclist guys. <clears throat> and honestly, I can't say much about them because I use their service, so I can't bitch about it, but I know a lot of Toronto cyclists that use these paths really hate them because they find them quite rude. They'll sometimes go the wrong way in the bike lanes, like they'll come at you head on. Just a lot of annoyances. But if I were to complain, then I'd have to stop using them, so... <laughs> Yeah, see, all these shuttle buses. So now we're at Woodbine. I think we'll go as far as Maine before we double back. And I'm going to... A little bit like closer to the curb like that like that kind of angle so you can see more of the stores and less of the road that's a green light but it says not walk so I'm not really sure yeah I'll wait see I'm not really sure what to do I feel really really unsafe at this moment right now because you know what, I'm gonna go back here. I said I would go to Maine. I'm gonna go back here. I just don't like that there's a truck in the bike lane ahead. There's all these buses and everything going. I just don't really feel like getting squished tonight by a car. So, uh, we're not gonna go as far as I had thought. 
but that's okay. that box. Yeah, this is just not too fun tonight with all the shuttle buses going and look, there's just like in the bike lane. Like, I don't know what to do. Do I just go on the sidewalk? Do I go around on the road? Do I wait for it to move? I don't know. I mean, I guess there's no cars. Oh, this feels so unsafe. There we go. And I feel like this video should be titled The Dangers of going on Danforth. You know what I should have done, though? I actually realized I should have used my lav mic while doing this. Because then there'd be no wind. Something beep, but I'm not sure what it was. I don't know if it was my scooter or my camera. But I guess I'll find out at some point. This kind of looks like my camera is sort of not looking to the side anymore. So next stop, I'm going to have to turn it a little bit back towards stores. It's another thing with these bike lanes is that pedestrians do not look. You have to look for them. And I really don't want to hurt someone. And I don't want to get hurt either. There's a McDonald's, which I totally didn't see on the way over. could stop here, but it looks like I wouldn't be able to stop for too long. See, there we go. I just do not feel safe with the buses all being out like this tonight. And the fact they so willy-nilly go in and out of the bike lanes. And I slow down, I don't, yeah, because then open the doors. See, that's fine, they're not in the bike lane at least. This guy, however, is. So I saw today, uh, Johnny Strides did a live stream where he took a big walk along the Danforth and then down to the beaches area to look at the Easter parade. And 
he started his stream I was like oh that place looks so familiar and it was actually this theater coming up I think I spoke about it on something I think it was like another stream that I or another video I did around the area that like it's a Circle K now and a Tim Hortons but it used to be like this really old classic movie theater so I'm going to point that out I'm going to stop around there and point that out even if the light is green it's actually quite nice without all the buses oh there's a really cute uh, patisserie over there I sort of wish I had a way to make the camera go or make the camera look to where I want it to look when I'm piloting my scooter but I don't want to do that because then that would that would probably make me get into an accident it was two witches walking in the distance and I don't know why my brain went that way I think it's just the, the dark garments my night vision or low light vision is terrible so now we're by Greenwood station Linsmore Tavern. I should do like a walk around here and talk about some of the things. So I'm starting to become more familiar with the East End. I didn't come out here too much, but now I come out here a lot more. Cipriano's lives around here. So we're coming up to the theater, but gonna just stop over at the corner and get a little look at it the Allenby theater no longer a theater though it's now a circle k and the tim hortons I'm just gonna stop here sort of. there we go it's really a beautiful building. I'm glad that they've restored the outside of it. However, the inside is does not look like the theater it was at all. It, <laughs> it's just a really seedy Tim Hortons now. Like I think they were saying that that, that Tim Hortons and that A&W and there's a bar, Tommy's, I think around there too, that, uh, I randomly read on this like list of like the worst bars in Toronto and it was like the top bar that the joke was that if you walked in one time you'd walk out with the meth addiction and I kind of could see that it's it just does not look like a great place there's actually a guy on TikTok that's going into all the bars across Toronto and I think he's like I think his slogan is I'm going to the worst bar so you don't have to and I think that's been recommended to him a bunch of times to Tommy, but I, I think he even won't go there. I think it was around here that I did a walk, I think, a couple months ago. And it made me realize that this part of the Danforth, from here up until the Greek area, it's very desolate. Like, it's, there's just not much going on. Because there's like a giant mosque, and then there's a funeral home back there, an abandoned city complex. It kind of smells like perfume or something right now. That's so weird. Like, back there, there's just the strongest scent of like perfume. 
and it kind of triggered a bit of a nostalgia in me, but I couldn't think of like where I smelled that perfume before. So weird. I oh, the fried chicken place is back open. Uh, spin you a little bit this way. And then we're gonna go because there's a big bus behind us. Again, my terrible low light vision. I thought that guy had like a snake wrap around his neck, but it was just his uh, hoodie. Or it's really funny, they call hoodies in, I think Alberta and Saskatchewan, they call them like bunny hugs. I'm not sure why they call them that. Bunny huggers, bunny hugs. Anyone from that part of the world or the country can let me know what it's called and maybe give me a little of a history lesson. Although, interestingly enough, my channel has not yet attracted many Canadian viewers. It's actually mostly Americans and um, a couple of, uh, excuse me for a second there, a lot of UK viewers too. Very, very tiny Canadian audience, which, which makes me realize that the YouTube algorithm hasn't pushed my channel to Torontonians yet, I guess. So that's why I started sticking the word Toronto into the titles now. You may, may or may not have noticed. Gosh, shuttle buses galore. So now we're coming into the Greek town part of the Danforth. Actually, this is nice. This part of the bike lane was closed off for a while. I guess it reopened recently. Can I make it? I can make it. Oh, so I was gonna say, um, if you got this far in the video and you're still listening, I found out that YouTube recently changed how live streaming works. Because you used to need 50 to do live streaming from your laptop or webcam or whatever. And you needed 1,000 to do mobile. But they changed it. So you now can do mobile at 50. But you can only have... Sorry, it's very loud now, so I'll have to continue that thought after all these shuttle buses are gone. So, you can now do mobile, but you can only have as many people in the chat as you can subscribers. So, that means I can live stream now because I highly, highly doubt I'm gonna have more than like 200 people ever in a live stream. I think even even Johnny Stride's live streams rarely get more than like two or three hundred. Like I'll be lucky if I get like ten of you guys there, but I'm happy to be able to do that. Like I think it'll be kind of fun. So I'm gonna 
see about if I can do one tomorrow, although tomorrow might have passed depending on when this video goes up and gets rendered. Uh, so it might be today, or maybe I would have done it yesterday, but I'll try to do some little announcement just to see if anyone can pop on. Mostly I'll just ask some of my friends to go in there so I'm not talking to no one while doing a live stream. I'm kind of excited about it though. I also think I'm gonna live stream the eclipse that we're having here. We're having a solar eclipse on April 8th at, uh, I think it peaks at 3.30 p.m. Toronto time. So I'm gonna try to start that live stream around three o'clock. That car was revving. So that'll be April 8th. I'll make an announcement by that. So I just wanna test the live stream out this week. And I figured tomorrow's probably the best day because the rest of the days it's supposed to rain. It's a little hard to do a walk and a live stream in the rain because it requires me to hold my camera and my cell phone so I can check the chat. So there's a little area here. Like, see this thing? It's like Carrot Common. Book City, everything, and... You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go in. Why not? Make sure there's no one behind me. I've always just wanted to take a little peek into this little area. because whenever I come by here, I'm always on the other side of the street. And I'm always like, I want to see what's there. What is there? Like, Carrot Common. The Big Carrot Food Market. So it's like a big grocery store. It does look pretty big. And then I guess that's a parking lot or something. I don't know where those stairs go up to. That's cool. So I think it goes up to like a back patio gonna have a look at this that'd be really nice in the summer I mean if that is a patio up there I think I'll go up some of these quieter streets it's like a church up there it's a delivery truck beeping well it was quiet the pathway to the subway. This road is very like gravelly. It's a nice house there. These are really nice houses, wow. Birds. It's so quiet now. Oh, wow, like, look at this house. It's so big. Wow. I'm just gonna pause here. I just wanna take a look at that big house. Wow. Whoops. Wow. I'm gonna pan up. Look at that. Massive. 
Plater Road. I think I heard like these Plater Estates or something. It sounds familiar. That looks like the Home Alone house. Like that really looks like the Home Alone house. Oh my God, it's like the Lego version that I built. That's crazy, wow. It's so quiet out here too. Later Boulevard, Bayfield Crescent. I've never been here. This is so cool. Like, these houses are surreal. Like, it's how big they are. I need to actually ask David about this later. That's so funny. Like, I wonder if he knows this neighborhood exists. I feel like all these people shop at the Big Carrot. There's like a big house here. I'm just gonna show you guys. That's like, there we go. Like, look at it. It's like, there's a giant brick fence around it. Wow. Okay, that's. The house is massive. I need to do like what David said and look for the hydrometers because I th think it's just one giant house. Wow. Just gonna get a shot of it for you guys from this angle. And I don't want to linger too long. If these people have money to buy these houses, they have money to pay for really good security systems. I am so turned around. Okay, there's the Lego Home Alone house. Still hear those birds. Okay, we're gonna go up this way. Although I need to be making my way home soon. So we're not gonna go too too far and then I'm gonna have to end this video. But I'm kinda glad we didn't go further east just so we could have more time here and explore this area. It'd be nice during the day when you can actually see things. This looks like a park. I guess it's for school. I'm not sure what school it is. Now it smells like fresh wood, like freshly cut pine wood. That smells like when I go camping and I 
smell after like my my dad or my brother-in-law would um, cut firewood or whatnot. Okay, I'm gonna have to go here. So this is Jackman Avenue Public School. I think I'm on Logan, but I'm not entirely sure. I need to see a sign, street sign. Let's see. Browning, but what street is it? Oh, this is Jackman Road. Okay, well, we're gonna swing down here. See, these houses are still quite nice, but not as nice as that random road we were on, that random loop-de-loop. -loop. So this is Chester Avenue that we're past, where Chester Station is. Man, it suddenly just got like really, really cold out. stop sign and make sure we look both ways and we're good I think there's a car coming up on me so I'm just gonna kind of hug my right side oh no it turned What street this is. This might be Logan then. This is Logan. I was right. Go ahead and come to a stop. And we're good to go. Yeah, it was so nice and warm earlier. Now it's chilly and I'm missing my bed so I think I might actually just bring my scooter and hop on the subway because it's probably like another 15-20 minutes home otherwise no I can't hop on the subway because there's shuttle buses great <laughs> and I don't want to bring my scooter on a shuttle bus figure something out when I get to whatever that road there is. I think that's Pape. But I think we'll go down Carlaw? No, we're not going to go down Carlaw. We'll just go to Pape. See, these are more houses like I'm used to. These are more East End houses. Not those gigantic mansions that are like the size of like five of these houses. Wow. I still don't know what that neighborhood was. I, have, I mean, I've lived in the East End most of my, more than half my life actually, when I was younger. Oh, this is the bakery that someone's talking about, the Serrano's bakery the giant rat trap outside perfect and this bakery I mean it smells good considering it's closed and it smells good that's promising <laughs> I guess I have a long way down to the Danforth bike lane. And I 
see someone on the sidewalk there, so I'm gonna try to avoid them. Maybe hop off my scooter if I can't. Nope, they're they're making weird walking patterns, so I'm gonna Oh, I don't wanna go on the road, but I'm gonna have to. I'll just stick really close to these cars here. It's getting so cold now, my nose is starting to run. Yeah. Now hop off here. Have this to not say a lot. So, I think I'm just gonna end the video here and take my camera off and make the rest of my way home. And am I gonna flip it to say bye? Probably not. My hands are cold. So you're just going to have to pretend that I'm waving bye. So until next time, bye guys, and I'm waving, bye.